Hello friends, welcome to TechLake video tutorials. In this PySpark real-time scenario videos, today video I'm going to give you one of the common uh, uh, scenario is acute ascent symbol. So when we will use this and how it will help you when you are using a Delta or other table format in SQL or in PySpark uh, selecting columns, the columns, if a column is having some spaces. Like most of the scenarios, you'll get some issues. Uh, mainly when you're working with external system data, you'll be getting the column names as a spaces. If, if you want to select a column name with the spaces, you'll be facing some issues. Okay, so how to overcome that issue? And uh, exactly what is exactly this acute ascent symbol or you can say back stick. If you go to Google, you can search this back stick. And uh, normally we will call it as a acute ascent symbol. This one, it's not a single quote. Single quote is a different and uh, this is different. So single quote will be here in our keyboard and acute ascent symbol will be here. You see this escape, right? So down you can see here. So this we will be using frequently when we are working with uh, uh, file types, when you're reading data directly from files like a CSV file, packet files, Delta file formats. So how to use that? How to use that? First we'll see in a SQL, then we will understand in PySpark side as well. So consider if you go to Databricks datasets, Databricks, data sets so here you can find a lot of files even i have created some delta tables here i'll show you my delta tables in this location and the user and the hive and the warehouse so there's a table called the debd department data so here some uh, delta table so wherever you see this underscore delta log you can find uh, in this location a uh, packet files and a transaction log so it's a delta table so if you want to read delta by path in SQL, so the delta location, this is the delta location. So you can create a table on top of that or directly you can use a SQL command, select, start from, then file type, file type dot single quote. So if you use a single quote, if you use a path, the file type here, it is delta. So delta dot then if you use a single quote, if you want to read by path, it won't accept that. So you see this. It will raise the invalid syntax error. Instead of single quote, you need to use acute ascent, this one. So most of the people will have a confusion on single quote and acute ascent. So if you use this, normally some people will call it as a back stick or acute ascent, you can call it as any name, but even you can read by path in SQL. So select star from format delta dot then particular location. So that data location should be a delta. Similarly, if you want to read a CSV files, consider there is some adult data which is available here, even some A line data which is available in this location. Okay, consider. So in this location, you can find a lot of CSV files. You see this. So if you want to read directly this file in SQL, so select star from, okay? File type CSV dot in acute ascent, specify that location. So we are reading in SQL directly from that file, this one. Even if you have a data in a packet files, consider, So here, this location, you can find uh, Amazon data. So data 20K, it's Amazon uh, reviews data, which is available in this location as a packet file, so you see this. So if you want to read this, multiple files are there. Even you can read directly using SQL, select a star from, Pocket dot acute ascent, then specify the path. So this way, which we can go for read by path in SQL. Okay, so instead of single quote, you need to use 
acute ascent. So this is one of the requirement which you can use a bank stick or you can say acute ascent symbol. Another requirement is consider. What I'll do, I'll create one data file, dbutils.fs. Put in a file store, I'll create one data file, employee, okay, emp.csv. So in this data file, I'll create a three columns, employee ID, employee first name, then location. And I'll values, I'll give a, So this is the data file. And if you look at the column, right? So the column, uh, when you are going for a column, consider if file is already available, it will raise the exception. I'll roll write the file, or I'll create a new file. Okay, now. So go to create a data frame. You can read this using, a, it's a CSV file, right? We can use a read API, file store location, and that file it is, and the header, true. And it's a default comma is a delimiter. You don't need to specify any separator here. Now let's display the data. Okay, so primarily when you're working on any uh, data files, right? So when you are getting any spaces. So Microsoft SQL Server will accept the spaces in column names. And uh, when you are creating a target, uh, a delta table, consider if you are going to store this delta table or parquet table, I'll show you now. Okay, so write format delta and the save as table. Now going for uh, its employee data, it's a delta table. So what will happen? So when you are going for a delta table, you see this, it is raising exception. It won't allow spaces in a column names. It won't allow spaces in column names. Still, if you want to allow column names, you, you need to use that, uh, first you need to create a table. The table should have this table properties. So delta dot column mapping dot mode, if you have a table with that mode, it will allow that. Okay, but that is not suggested in real time project. So always go and rename the column name, rename the column name. Or when you are doing a selecting a columns, consider you are selecting a columns, df select. If you are going for the select expression, consider select expression. So three columns are there, id, comma, first name. So when you are uh, selecting your columns, so select, uh, there is a transformation and select expression also another transformation. So when you are looking at this ID and the first name, the first name it is not uh, allowing this first name, it is not allowing because it is treating as a alias name here. First space, space normally it will treat as alias names. So if you go use the select, it will allow this. Okay, you see this. If you use a select transformation, even spaces are there in a column names, it will allow. And when you are going for, again, consider uh, if you want to add, or if you are doing any expression, consider if you are using a width column. Okay, and if you are going, going to add a new column, and you are using as expression as a column here, Okay, so whenever you are trying to add a new column, okay, we need to import that call function from PySpark.SQL.Functions, import call. Okay, so now I added a new column and this is an existing column, okay? So when you are going for uh, like any expressions, right? So always remember if you have any spaces in a column names, first, rename using with column with column renamed because when you are selecting those columns using a select expression you you see those issues 
maybe select won't raise any issues, but select expression will raise issues. Even by writing into target table also, it will raise issues. To overcome these issues, even with the spaces, if you want to select, or maybe in a SQL also, okay, you can use same acute ascent symbol. I'll tell you that. Consider I'll create a view on top of this. So create or replace temp view. So V underscore EMB. I'm creating a temporary view, which we can access in SQL. So select star from V underscore EMB. So which we are going to read all columns. But if you are selecting those columns, consider ID, comma, first name, comma, location. So I'm selecting those columns. So when you are selecting those columns, it will raise exception saying that, you see this, Okay, so instead of when you are selecting a columns here, better to rename at a data frame level or you can use acute ascent. You can use acute ascent. Okay, one is select transformation you can use. Another one is use with the column and rename those columns before doing any transformation. And when you are selecting those columns in SQL, SQL also same thing, it will raise exception. So to avoid that, you can use acute assumpt, but while writing into table anyway, always will get exception if table does not, if table does not have any table properties. The table should have a properties this, okay? Column mapping mode should have name, then it will allow even spaces, even special characters, okay? If you have a special characters in a column name, if you have a space in a column name, delta won't allow that until if you have a table properties, you need to add this table properties. But if you are creating a table, even table is not available. So better to go with unique column names without spaces, without special characters. But if you want to select those columns in a select statement, use acute ascent symbol, so that will help you. Even when you are reading data by path in a delta table, maybe parquet by path, or any other CSV by path, use acute ascent symbol. This is a requirement of backstick or you can say acute ascent symbol requirement. And remember, it's not a single code, which you can find in your keyboard. Uh, that's a separate option, which you can go on here. This one. Okay, so every keyboard depends on your keyboard, which you can find that here. Depends on okay. So this is about uh, acute ascent symbol uses uh, when it comes to SQL when it comes to PySpark. So when you are using a select transformation, you won't get any issues. When you are using a with the column with the column renamed directly, you can work on that. But only in SQL or with call select expression you will see those issues if you have a spaces in a column. So always rename those columns before moving to next transformations, okay? And remember this option also, while creating a delta table, your delta table want to allow spaces, special characters, and this property, table property, then it will allow that, okay? So this is about acute ascent symbol. We'll see in different scenarios in upcoming videos. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. See you in another video. Thank you. Have a good day.